you ever have one of those situations where it it just sucks to be right and this this is just that and i'm not saying that in a, a braggy way or arrogant way at all trust me because we've all all together all of us have experienced this several times and, and it's almost become an expectation it's almost become an expectation when it comes to the the, the trade deadline so a couple days before the trade deadline this year made a video about Ravens potential trade targets and in that video we both discussed and in the thumbnail we used Dolphins cornerback Xavier Howard and in the video like I while I didn't think it would happen I thought that the only chance that it could happen would be if Dolphins were like you know what we one in six or one in seven whatever their record was at the time you know what fire sale fire sale we're doing bad let's just all right we're willing to listen to offers on anybody simply because that's what a lot of teams do especially a team like the Dolphins who's they don't have their franchise quarterback Tua is not their guy they're gonna get rid of Tua they're gonna uh, they're gonna offload Tua this offseason Tua will not be a Dolphin after this year we all know that that's obvious and I one of the things that the bigger thing that I actually care about being right in that video for was not that the Ravens could possibly try to make a move for Xavier. Nope, don't care about that. Well, I care about it, but something that we talked about was that watch like a day later. It ended up being a couple days later in this case, but I said watch like a day later. We end up getting getting these tweets from these reporters, probably like Adam Schefter, Ian Rappaport, Mike Garofalo, from somebody saying, oh, the Ravens tried, but they came up just short. I said, well, watch for that because it's happened like every year. The Ravens tried, but oh, they came up short. Because if I take you back, we remember um, when DeAndre Hopkins, oh man, that, and that was the worst one. That's, that's, that's always the worst one. That one almost made me cry. Y'all remember. But when we, when we try, after DeAndre Hopkins got traded to the Cardinals, Said the Ravens tried, but they weren't successful. And I know people be like, oh, well, well they, they wanted them out of the AFC. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I'm sure they did. But with DeAndre Hopkins, I, I would love to know what the Ravens did or did not try be willing to give up in that offer. Because that's DeAndre Hopkins, man. I don't want to hear no, oh, man, they, they, they better have not tried to give up a first round pick. That's DeAndre. That's not just any player. That's not just any player. And the, the Cardinals didn't even give a first round pick for him. So it's like, think about that. Like, if, 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 what with the Texans? Yeah, you had to play the Ravens, but you only played them once every four years. Now, what the Texans, think about this. Would the Texans be like, you know what? Cardinals only gave us a second and change. They gave us like a second and four, second and something. Do you think the Texans would be like, all right, Cardinals only giving us that? If the Ravens, oh, they, if they are, they off, we, yeah, we're going to have to face him soon. But if they give it, they want us to give us a first round pick, it'll be a low first round pick because they usually do pretty good, but it'll still be higher than a second round pick, even if it's a first round pick and change. But anyway, that was one of them. There was another one a couple years ago when it was like, oh, the Ravens, they tried to get Jamal Adams. Now, I'm not mad in the long run. I'm not mad that that one didn't happen. But they tried to get Jamal Adams. It's like, oh, oh, they they tried. Okay, okay, okay. And who, what was another one? Adam Thielen was a little. Oh, Yannick Ngakwe. That was another one that they tried before, but they ended up coming back around to it. Came for a circle and it ended, up, it ended up working out the following year. But he was another one that they tried to get and it didn't happen. And then of course in free agency, you know, this year, this year was the off season of trying. Man. <laughs> this was a even. In the past couple of years, too, Justin Houston was one that came full circle because a couple years ago, before he signed with the Colts, they tried to get Justin Houston. And I know not every deal that you try is going to happen, but it's just Ravens just they they are the ultimate triers. Now, I, I just wish I wish all this information wasn't so confidential because I wish we knew how hard they tried. I wish we knew how much they were willing to give up in their efforts. Because we know that it's been times when it's been said that Ravens tried, but they weren't willing to give up something. They, they, they had to hold back something. And even under Ozzie Newsom, too. It's not just an Eric DaCosta thing. 
And I'm not saying that every single trade attempt that you're going to go try and get, you're going to make happen. I'm not saying that at all. But I also do know that with the Ravens, them draft picks, they like, mm -mm, we're not giving that up. No, you're not getting our draft picks. No, no, no. Like, to get Marcus Peters, that's crazy. But they got him for crazy cheap. Because Rams, were on, they were unloading Marcus. They're like, man, we don't want this dude. We about to get Jalen Ramsey. We don't want no Marcus Peters. So Ravens, all they had to get, give up was Kenny Young and a fourth round pick. So they got Marcus Peters for crazy cheap. Crazy cheap. So for that one, they didn't even have to try. Like, that, Kenny Young and a fourth round pick? Oh, go ahead, man. Our linebackers, they struggling anyway. Y'all can have them. So they didn't even have to try for that one. But we just, we always hear about this trying, and, and, um, and it's frustrating. And I think this year is very frustrating because for me, I was thinking, and I said it before in a lot of videos, I'm like, what on defense, what would be something that would really take Ravens over the top? What would help them really like, what would help them that much? What would help them be that much better on defense? And I felt like it was more scheme than anything. And I still feel like that. But when you think about an Xavier Howard type of cornerback, you know the Ravens are missing Marcus Peters. You know they're missing Marcus Peters. They for sure missing Marcus Peters. And Anthony Averett overall, he has not been bad. He's had some, some bad games. Like, really just won against the Colts. Uh, other than that, Anthony Averett has been solid. Especially for the role that he's been put in. But to have an Xavier Howard, to, ooh. <laughs> and then to have Anthony Averett, and Anthony Averett probably would have taken a step down. But to have Xavier Howard and then uh, have Anthony Averitt as your next best cornerback after that, it would have just been nice, man. It, it, it would have upped the secondary. And if, if Wink could scheme them the right way. Now, and, and that, give, that, that does also give you respect, more respect with your cornerbacks. Because, and, and it's not a shot at Anthony Averitt at all. But with Xavier Howard being a more established cornerback, uh, teams respect him more than they would an Anthony Averitt. So with Marlon Humphrey, it could help make him better too. Well, <laughs> but he, he got to remember how to tackle first. But <laughs> anyway, oh, I'm trying to laugh through the pain because this, this one does hurt. This, this one does hurt. It hurts because the Ravens, I, I just feel like like this this year, um, let's just read the article. From Ian Rappaport. He said the Ravens didn't make a trade last week, but it wasn't for lack of effort. So that shows that, hey, they, they were trying. And there it says, among, among listen, listen to the wording here. It's important that you listen to the wording because it's, it's extremely important. He said, among the high-profile targets. You heard that? Not, not among the high-profile target. Among the high-profile targets. So that's, that S makes it a plural. So that means they tried, they tried for a couple of people. Now, I wish all of those people were listed so we could really uh, just really have this pain all together as a unit. As Team Keep It Clean, we could all experience this pain together because it hurts. It, it really does. Um, but among the high profile targets was Dolphins star cornerback Xavier Howard, though the complicated trade never materialized. So um, <clears throat> what I hope this does, I hope this this trade talk, it has that Chuck Clark effect. Because with the Ravens, um, and, and I think it's like, it's one of those things that works both ways. They, I remember the year that they, they tried to get Jamal Adams and it didn't fall, and it fell through. I mean, that was the first year that Chuck Clark was really, um, he was really taking over and he was really getting a lot more playing time. <clears throat> so when that deal didn't happen, um, Ravens could have used that. They could have used that, though, that it fell through to be like, oh, we just trying to motivate you. Show, show us why you deserve a role here. Show us why you deserve to be here. Show us why you deserve to be our safety. Because we, we could have got Jamal Adams, but we was like, you know what? No, nah, we got Chuck Clark. Show us. And then that following year, he ended up earning an extension. I mean, that same offseason, he got an extension. So hopefully it can be that same type of impact with Anthony Averett. We'll see. Even though I, I think he's going to end up cashing in in free agency because he's going to end up being able to make more in free agency than he would with the Ravens but we'll see how everything works out anyway let's let's read this let's let's just go through all this pain together because we're not done going through the pain mm -mm. 
Sitting in first place in the AFC North, thriving despite a slew of early injuries, the Baltimore Ravens didn't end up making a trade leading up to last week's trade deadline, but it wasn't for lack of trying. In fact, here we go. Ravens general manager Eric DaCosta was among the most active last week, working the phones in effort to bolster his roster. So it doesn't just say, again, that gives us another reminder that it wasn't just about Xavier Howard. He was trying for different people. But I don't see no new Ravens. I don't see no new players. I don't see no new people. Anyway, said, according to several executives around the league, taking aim at a handful of positions, DaCosta tried it all. So that's what makes it even more frustrating now. And, and this is not a video taking a shot at DaCosta at all. So please don't take it like that. But this is what makes it frustrated that DaCosta tried. He tried to get this guy, that guy, that guy. That, and we don't know who those guys are, but I said he tried at several different positions. But nothing happened. Ravens got, he got a lot of draft picks. He got a lot of draft picks. Whole lot of draft picks. But, and you obviously got some players on your team. Now, you, you probably don't want to come off of nobody, which I can understand, especially depending on what player it is, but you got a lot of draft picks. Anyway, let's keep moving. Um, most notably, the Ravens tried to tr uh, made a run at Dolphins All-Pro cornerback Xavier Howard, so as to say, aiming to add a marquee player to their secondary for the second half. That's just, Oh, man, it's so annoying. It says, that's just one of the major deals they discussed. That's just one of them. That's just one of them. And major deals. That's just one of the major deals they discussed. That's just one of them. That's what makes it so frustrating because they, they apparently tried for a couple of major deals. Obviously, they wouldn't have executed all of them. It probably would have just been one. But nothing. 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 Yet, Howard isn't a Raven now for a variety of reasons. For one, Miami wanted premium picks for a player of Howard's caliber, likely a first-rounder and more. If it was me, y'all know me. I'm more the aggressive type. If it was me, I would have sunted. I would have sent it, I mean, because sunted ain't, sunt ain't even a word. I think that's just a little Florida thing that we be saying. We be making up our own words down here. But anyway, I would have sent it. Straight up, I would have sent that. Reason being, because this team, I know some people say, oh, the Ravens are on the Super Bowl team this year. I feel like they got a good, as good of a shot as anybody, especially in the AFC. Especially in the AFC. Who's the dominant team in the AFC right now? What team is just rolling and just killing it? What team is that? You, you let me know what team that is. And then tell me, oh, Ravens ain't got a shot. And y'all, <laughs> trust me, y'all know me. I ain't got on no purple glasses at all. No purple glasses. No purple shades. I don't be drinking none, none of the Kool-Aid. I actually, you know what? I, I haven't had no Kool-Aid in a long time, man. My son, we be getting little, the little Kool-Aid bottles from Wawa for Carter. He loves those. But anyway, they not purple. They be green and they be red and they be blue. So not, he not even drinking purple Kool-Aid. In fact, Carter, oh boy, I hate to say this, man. I got to have a talk with him. He actually, he, he likes the Dolphins. Carter talks about, he said, he said, I'm a Dolphins fan. I like the Dolphins. Every time you see the Dolphins on TV, oh, look, there, there goes the Miami Dolphins. I'm like, man, Carter, what's wrong with you, man? Anyway, <sighs> I got to talk to my guy. Um, I would have sent it. If it's a first round, even if it's a first round and chant like a first and a fourth, first and a fifth, first, first and a third, yeah, I would have sent it because he would help. He would help. And yeah, and deal with all the other stuff later. Deal with the, yeah, then, then I know people going to quit. Whoa, if we would have got Xavier Howard, then we would have had Xavier Howard, Marcus Peters, Marlon Hump. What are we going to do with all those cornerbacks? Figure that out later. Try to win now. And then I know there's going to be the people, oh, but you can't just do that. You got to think about the future. You don't want to be less need in the Rams. Try to win now. I feel like this, the, the Ravens have not taken full advantage of trying to win now. I feel like they haven't. Simply because of the way that they've constructed the offense in, with Lamar Jackson under his rookie year. After his first year, well, after his rookie season, then you could have been like, uh, how much do we really want to add around this guy? Because we, we don't really know how he is as a quarterback. All right, give you a pass for that one. 2019, we saw, we saw what he did. It was crazy. It was, it was wild. And you saw what he did that with. After 2019, it's like, okay, hey, give this guy some real deal stuff, man. Let's really, let's go all in for Lamar, man. This is our guy. 
2020. Mm. 2021. Mm. I mean, it's been working out, but I just feel like they could have done a better job of building around him. But you, you obviously have a quarterback that you can win with, that you have won with. So why not just really, really go in? And I, I feel like if, if, if this was the case with the Dolphins, they wanted a, a, a first, likely a first rounder and more. Send it. Send it. I would say send it. But anyway, uh, to make that happen, Baltimore would have wanted the Dolphins to eat some of what's left of Howard's $13.785 million salary. Yes, I'm, I'm sure they would have. Got no problem with that. And hey, if, if that was a deal breaker and Dolphins were like, no, we're we not eating none of his salary. We ain't taking that off for you. Who do you think we are, the Browns? Nope. Who do you think we are, the, the, the Texans and the Broncos? Remember when Brock Osweiler got traded? Remember Brock Osweiler? Oh, that seems so long ago. But I can, uh, oh, no, who who you think we are? The Broncos with trading Von Miller? Where the Rams only got to pay like 700K, something, something crazy, 900K, something crazy. It's something e extremely low. Where the Rams, they, they ain't got to hardly pay anything to Von Miller this year. But now they already talking about an extension. They ain't got to pay nothing. But if that was the deal breaker, then I would understand. Because Ravens, they, they obviously can't afford that. So they may have wanted the, the Dolphins to, to, to just take off some astronomical amount of money. But at the same time, the Dolphins might have been like, okay, we take off that money. You give us a first rounder. Okay, here, take it. But that would also mean if you give up a first rounder, then you're keeping Xavier Howard. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. But that would, that, that would take some figuring out because you obviously still have Marcus Peters. So, but again, I would say, Cross that road when you get there. You have ways of figuring stuff out. But then another thing that another thing that that goes to. And again, we've only got the report. They said there was multiple guys that the Ravens tried to get multiple guys. But I, I, I just I wonder if mm, I'm not trying to stir the pot, but it's something that I'm thinking about because, you, you know, Ravens, they it's always defense. Defense is where they really, really, where they really try. Offense, they be like, ah, we tried. We gave it a shot. We tried our best. Uh, you had a bad day. Oh, we tried, guys. Sorry. It's like that song is playing in the background after they tried on offense. But defense, oh, man, we tried, y'all. We tried, y'all, boys. Hey, we tried to get, hey, defense, you know, you know how we get down on defense, man. But defense, they try harder. Because, again, Yannick Ngakwe, they tried, and they failed. But then they're like, oh, circle back around. Justin Houston, they tried, and they failed. Yup, circle back around. You get guys like Calais Campbell. Derek Wolf, somebody who they wanted before, who he thought the Ravens were going to draft them. Circle back around. But offense, we tried for Adam Thielen. We tried for DeAndre Hopkins. We tried for Juju. Then Juju ended up taking less, so that's uh, we tried for Ty. He didn't end up taking less. People thought he did, but Ravens they they were giving him a longer deal, but it was less money. I'm 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 glad that one didn't work. I, I never was a big Ty guy, especially with the Ravens. I don't know. But anyway, we we looked at Kenny Galladay. Well, Kenny Galladay he was wanting too much money. Ravens like, nah, we good on that. So on offense they try, but they don't try. So that's something right there to just think about. And again, we don't, we don't know because this last paragraph, it says, as for the Ravens, they look for reinforcements in part because of their assortment of injuries early on. Running backs J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards, cornerbacks Marcus Peters and left tackle Ronnie Stanley were among the high-profile injuries. Yes, he said Baltimore explored potential deals in a few of the areas where they had injuries. I mean, that last sentence ain't really saying much because they got injuries literally everywhere. <laughs> they got injuries everywhere. But it does let you know that they tried. But how hard did they try? We'll never know. We'll never know. So with that being said, I mean, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. So, hey, they rolling with what they got now. 
And so I know there's a lot of people, oh, man, Ravens aren't going to do nothing. They ain't going to try nothing. They, what, what, what's they going to do? What are they going to trade for anybody? That's been shut down. It's been shut down because, again, they tried. But we know that they are the ultimate triers. But it just didn't work out. So, yeah, man. I, yeah, like I said earlier, man, I can't lie to y'all, man. That, that, that does upset me a bit. It does. Um, it, is, it is a bit frustrating. Straight up. It, it, is, it is frustrating. Um, especially when you just... When you know, like, when you see, you, and, and especially with seeing the, the advancements of this team, seeing the advancements, especially of the passing game, how the passing game has taken, it, we, we knew Lamar could pass already, but the entire passing game has been taken to another level. And the thing about that is that it still has its deficiencies too. It still has its problems. Despite how good it's been going, it still has its problems. But it's still on a whole other level than it was last, and it's like, Level, level levels above what it was last year. And it's crazy. So I just, um, it's just frustrating to, to know that and to see um, Lamar Jackson shown, hey, we can come back. We can come back. We can come back down one score. We can come back down multiple scores. Now, we don't want to be down. We want to always be up. But he's shown that they can do it. And... With the defense, again, my biggest thing with defense, I think, is scheme and fundamentals. I think that's what's been holding this team back, scheme and fundamentals. So I feel like those are not easy fixes, but they're easy fixes because you know exactly what it is. Tackling, wrap up, that's it. And fundamental with, with, with the scheme, I mean, like, let's, let's dial it back a little bit. Let's stop putting these guys on the island so much. Let's give them help. So I feel like if you added something, you added Xavier Howard, then that, that makes your personnel that much better. And then if you even fix the scheme and improve the fundamental, oh, man. Oh, boy. But, and then, of course, like I, like I said, there were other guys that the Ravens tried to trade for, too. But it, it is very, very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. And I know we went on a while for this one, but we had a, a whole lot to say. Um, so, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I will see y'all for the, uh, the stream for the Ravens and the Dolphins game. Um, and, like, Xavier doesn't have to tell uh, the Miami Dolphins. I'm out.